Following the verdict delivered by the Confederation of African Football in response to the complaint lodged by Nigerian Football Federation over the recent inhuman treatment melted out to the Super Eagles in Libya, members of the Nigerian community have reported mass arrests and fines in the country. So it's not even bad enough that Nigeria reported how Nigerian players were treated and now Libya is even going further to arrest Nigerians in in big numbers and imposing fines on them. The Nigerian football team was held at the Al Barak airport in eastern Libya for over 20 hours. Upon arriving for second leg of the 2025 World Cup Nations qualifier between the Super Eagles and Libya's national team, the contingent was scheduled to land at the Benghazi airport and travel for nearly four hours by road to Benyan, where the match was to be played. However, less than an hour before handing the Tunisian pilot, reportedly received a direct from, directive from Libyan authorities to divert the flight to Al Barak Airport, located 150 miles away from the destination. The development sparked widespread outrage, forcing the NFF to withdraw the Super Eagles from qualifying match and file an official complaint to CAF. In its ruling on Saturday, October 26, signed by its chairman, Usman Kane, the disciplinary committee of the African football body awarded the Super Eagles of Nigeria three points and three goals for the abandoned match. The disciplinary board ruled that Libyan Football Federation breached Article 31 of the African Cup of Nations regulations and Articles 82 and 151 of CAF disciplinary code. The panel also ordered the Libyan Football Federation to pay a fine of 50000 dollars within 60 days of the notification of the decision so you see now i don't know for how long it will take us to start getting it right so the average nigerians that migrated to libya in search of better life what business do they have with how Libya treated Nigerian super egos that made Nigeria to withdraw the super egos and lodge a complaint that Libya is being fined for their shortcomings. And Libya is now melting out their frustration on Nigerians that are, don't belong to the food super egos, on Nigerians that are just on their own looking for their greener pastures. For how long should we continue on this path? Robbing Peter to pay Paul. This is absurd. This is evil. This is wickedness. And it must stop. Yes. Because the Nigerians that went there, most, some of them are working, still paying tax to Libya as a country, contributing to Libya. Omar Ige, who confirmed this while making an official report at the Libyan Migration Office on Monday, said the arrest started Sunday night in some areas in Tedora. They are arresting innocent people. They don't even care whether you have passports or residence permits they just don't care which does not happen in other countries libya you people are not doing right oh momo gaddafi under gaddafi a thing like this would not have happened when asked to provide background to the incident he said the football body is an association on its own which the government isn't supposed to interfere with according to calf laws there was a football match scheduled between Nigeria and Libya on October 15. Nigeria was supposed to arrive in Benghazi, but they were diverted to another state. So the match could not take place. The Nigerian football team then returned home. Since then, CAF has investigated the issue and set up a committee to find out what really happened. So, now, Libya government interfering in football is already wrong. Whatsoever, it might be that Libya government is having some issue with Nigerian government, but they should treat their issue with Nigerian government and don't involve this football game in it. And it's not, it's, it's not even that it's already bad enough that the Libyan government is interfering in a football match. They are now shifting it, the frustration further because they are being fined to average Nigerians. Imagine that Nigerians now, in return, will start arresting Libyans that are in Nigeria and start deporting them in their numbers. This will seriously get out of hand. The Libyan government should address this issue before it seriously gets out of hand.